This here is another viewer's dirty gaming PC. This one's very dirty. Hence why we're filming the intro of this video in my garage, because I don't want this thing inside in its current state. It's got dust bunnies in so many different places. I'm not even sure how dust got where it got. There's a lot up front that I can't even see. You can see dust bunnies on top of the graphics card, uh, around the power supply, and there's a bunch of nasty stuff caked in the CPU cooler. Uh, that's, yeah, just part of the reason why it's out here. It also smells quite bad. So we're gonna need to definitely deep clean this, which is why it's in this playlist, but uh, I'm hoping that the transformation itself plays out and, um, and really works out for the, for the viewer at the end of this one. So uh, stick around, I think you will enjoy how it looks at the end. Stay with me. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. And purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. Hey there, and welcome to PCDC, which stands for Personal Computer Deep Cleaning. For those who don't know, I'll give you a quick recap of what goes on here. We clean viewer systems in and around Orlando, Florida for free. We don't charge a dime, and in return for that, I'm allowed to make videos like these, right? I can monetize these videos thanks to sponsors, Google AdSense, etc. And so that's how I make my money, and I don't want to offload any of that uh, labor that I would otherwise, I guess, have to charge to the viewer who was already gracious enough to loan us his or her system to create the video that we can monetize. So uh, I think it's a, a really good relationship that we've developed with the community. And uh, of course, it's always great seeing uh, builds like these be cleaned up and revitalized and uh, just get yeah, breathing new life into systems that otherwise would go unused. This build here is very old, one of the dead giveaways. The fact that the motherboard is blue, not much we can do about that. But the case is another dead giveaway and it's, yeah, it's a bit dated. Um, it's, it's actually a very, airflow centric case, which is nice for, uh, for an older style chassis, but I think we can revamp that. Uh, so the one thing I'm going to swap out is the case, again, courtesy of Be Quiet, it's a 500DX, I'm sure you've seen that before here in this playlist, but I think that's gonna go a long way to revitalizing the build again, making it look a bit more modern. Other than that, everything else in here, we will deep clean ourselves and attempt to recycle, to reuse in the, uh, in the new build, so to speak, even though the only thing changing is the case. So I think that's gonna be well worth the watch because at the end of this, pretty much everything else is gonna be exactly the same, uh, just much cleaner, hopefully. Uh, with that, the only other thing I wanna mention is our cleaning gear. All that is in the video description if you wanna check any of that out and maybe clean your system. If you do it habitually, then you'll never have to worry about this because once it gets this bad, you've gotta deep clean it. You can't just blast it with a can of air. That's not gonna tackle even half of the dust and other grime in here. With that, we're gonna cue the music and I don't know, stick around for the ride. I think you'll enjoy it. Here we go.
Whew. All right, we have finally finished cleaning everything deep into day two here, and we need the new case, right? This is gonna be the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX that we're gonna be upgrading the viewer to. Now, a much more modern mid tower, it's gonna have great airflow in it as well. Uh, there's in integrated RGB uh, LEDs throughout if you're into that sort of thing. Of course, you can turn them off if you're not, but that versatility is nice. You're gonna get three beastly 140 mil Pure Wings 2 fans in here as well. You guys know the works by this point. I'm sure you have heard plenty of good things about the 500DX, but you'll get to see us building it as well here in the video. You can see there's just so much room in here to work with. Seven PCI slots at the rear up to even EATX motherboards if you really wanted. You can remove this tray here for two SSDs if you want to show those off. Of course you get 360 mil fan rad combo mounting up front. You can mount two large 140 mil fans up top and a 140 mil at the rear. Remember you get three Pure Wings 2 fans here and you get that perforated front panel for excellent airflow. You can learn more about the 500DX and buy one for yourself via the link in this video's description. Big thanks to Be Quiet for being the product sponsor of of this video. Now, without further ado, let's get all the parts we just cleaned inside of here. The only exception is the CPU cooler. If you recall from this shot here, our stock Intel cooler that came with the build had broken pins, which is likely to contribute to an overheating situation. You don't have enough mounting pressure atop the chip, then the cooler can't do its job properly. Uh, so we're going to outright swap it for something that is significantly better, that being a 120 mil Pure Loop AIO. Uh, now some would say this is a bit overkill for a, well, for a fairly old Core i5-750, I believe this is. But uh, I mean, worst case, this can always be migrated to a more modern build later. I think for now, it'll be nice and quiet and it should keep the CPU, of course, nice and cool. All right, and with a bit of TL DLC. Just took uh, about 30 minutes or so to get all these components in here wired up. I think it's ready to be powered on. I'll quickly show you behind the 500DX so you can get an idea of what we're working with cable management wise. Plenty of space behind the motherboard tray. Uh, there are tons of excess cables with this older Corsair unit. So uh, it just kind of stuffed these underneath, but you can't really tell that we were running out of space at all. Uh, and I think that the right side panel should just slide right on, which by the way, has a lot of sound damping material on it, so that's nice. We're gonna power on here at the rear, and power buttons in the middle up top. Uh, one of the fans isn't spinning. It should be a quick fix. Might have come unplugged when I put the right panel on. I can hear the AIO churning fluid, that's great. And there's our post, all right. Not that we should be too surprised, but it's always important that we check this ahead of time. Uh, we don't wanna give a system that was previously working back to the viewer dead. That would look pretty bad. Ah, there we go. Now all the fans are spinning. Corsair's Xenion 32 QHD 165 is a versatile monitor chock full of leading tech for your gaming and content creating needs. Enjoy a quantum dot color accurate 32 inch fast IPS display with a blazing fast refresh rate of up to 165 hertz for ultra smooth picture. Couple that with a one millisecond response time and you've got yourself a sweet gaming panel. And with its sleek and slim ergonomic profile, which of course doesn't hurt, it's sure to impress on any desk. You can learn more about it by clicking the link below. Down. Oh, you want to sit down right there? And Dad, I'm not sit down. Dad, I can't sit down. No. I can't. I can't sit. Yeah. But I gotta end the video, buddy. Mm -hmm. We got. We gotta say goodbye to everyone. Cause Dad, I was cleaning. Remember, you helping me cleaning too. Yeah. Yeah, you helped me clean a little bit in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And you was riding a bike around the PC. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, uh, thanks for watching this far into it. I think the transformation um, was really satisfying to see play out, and I'm glad that the. Uh, the build is revitalized. There's a lot that you can do with just replacing the case of an older build. Uh, it just brings new life to it, makes it seem a lot more youthful, and you can always upgrade the platform later on. With that, if you or someone you know lives in and around Orlando, Florida, and has a very dirty PC, I would love a chance to clean it. You can check out our form. Uh, it's linked in the video description, and there you can submit photos, let us know about the system, the specs, and uh, just tell us about it. Tell us why it's as dirty as it is, and we'd love a chance to, uh, to clean it in this playlist here. Uh, same goes for consoles. If you have a very dirty console, it doesn't matter how old or how new it is, if it's disgusting, we'd also like a chance to clean that for our GCDC series. You'll probably notice that I've tried to shorten these videos up a tad. They've been stretching into the 20, 30 minute mark, and I think that's a bit excessive. Uh, so I'm trying to condense these down to just like the meat and potatoes, essentially the cleaning itself and uh, making sure that things power on in the end. And of course our call to action because we need more folks to submit dirty builds so that we can keep videos like these going. Uh, so again, thanks for watching this far into this one. Consider leaving a thumbs up, cons uh, consider subscribing. Yeah, I almost choked there. Subscribing if you haven't already and uh, leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see next. My name is Greg, thanks for cleaning with me. Okay, good job, buddy. Yeah. Bravo, yeah, give a high five. Give a high five, bravo.